a really easy way to add a lot of detail to the interior of your custom Lego airplane is by adding a bathroom. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys three of my very own custom Lego airplane bathrooms, regardless of the pieces you have or the space you have. And make sure to stick to the end because I made a super exclusive, never seen before on any Lego airplane ever, first class bathroom with one really, really cool feature. Anyway, let's get started. Starting off with one of my favorites on this list, and in case you don't have this round toilet piece, uh, this is my uh, custom Lego bathroom on this plane. And as you can see, I essentially made my own toilet. Just take this out for you guys. But this is essentially what it looks like. Uh, and the build is actually quite simple. You just have um, this Technic 2x1 uh, plate, and you just add this um, for the toilet seat. Then you add one tile plate, and then um, you use this piece to connect it to the top, and here's a flush button, here's some toilet paper. So yeah, a really simple, but also a really good looking toilet. I bet that's the first time you've ever heard someone say that. Um, so yeah, really nice build, and over here's just a sink. Um, pretty straightforward build, not too much going on. And I added, um... I added uh, this piece to let people know if the light is green, it's vacant, if the light is red, it's occupied, and this is the door. Moving on is a toilet I made for my custom LEGO DC-10 mark. Also, by the way, all the aeroplanes shown in this video, if you guys want to see the full review, full tour, links are going to be in the description below, but... Here is uh, my DC-10 toilet. Now, I, this is a corner toilet or I like to call a corner toilet and it is um a pretty stereotypical of what an airplane or or at least what a Lego airplane toilet would have and as you can see the door is just that it's completely white and it opens like that um unfortunately I did not have any gray pieces because if you guys have ever been on a plane you see the toilets aren't usually all white but hey, it still looks pretty good. Again, I bet that's the first time you ever had anyone say that about a Lego airplane toilet. But there is a sink. Um, same design, I believe, for the previous toilets. And that's the toilet bowl. You might be wondering, where's the toilet paper? Well, I am too because, well, I don't know. I didn't really have much space to put the toilet paper in. But I'm sure many things can... They can sort something out there, but I do not want to be having diarrhea on that plane. And this is a 747 toilet mark. This is also a bit of a sneak peek of uh, the LEGO 747 V3 video that I'm going to be making. Probably going to be next video, but this is probably the simplest toilet out of all three. But as you can see, the, to the standard toilet seat piece right there. And a sink. I'm trying to give you guys a best view, but that's essentially what it looks like. And just um, this door piece. Um, this is just one elevated brick on the toilet seat piece. But yeah, again, no toilet paper because, well, I'm not a minifig. You guys should ask a minifig why they don't use toilet paper. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for the exclusive first class toilet and well this isn't really a toilet it's a shower and um if you're wondering where the shower it is I'll, I'll get to that in a minute but here is the hot and cold buttons or the on and off back here is um well right there is where um a bar of soap is supposed to be and next to it is some shampoo i didn't really add a towel because well mini figures don't really use towels and over here is the entrance to the toilet, just a bunch of these uh, car door pieces stacked because I didn't have uh, enough of these pieces. And so this is what it looks like with the shower head on. And as you can see, it is kind of basic, not too much going on here, but a lot of innovation. And this is because uh, if, if a minifig was to stand under this, this is Jerry. It looks like he's going to 
it's like a bit of a shower. Um, so as you can see here, a minifigure can fit under here. I didn't give him any hair because like, I don't know, respect people that don't have hair, I guess. But he does indeed fit in, um, into the shower. So, and, so to give, um, the most space possible for Jerry to actually fit in the shower, or for any mini, or for any mini figures in that case is, um, the sh if I was going to connect the shower head, uh, to the wall back there, I would need, like, a little piece or a tiled plate, and it would just not fit, right? And the only really possible way to accomplish this was to, was to put the shower head, uh, to the top of a plane. Again, guys, this is, like, next level innovation. If you guys want to be a brick master like myself, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But, yeah, uh, again, guys, keep in mind, um, this is a Gen 1, uh, bathroom. Definitely... Uh, I'm definitely going to make improvements, modifications to it in the future, but as of now, this is what it looks like. And those are three of my very own custom Lego airplane bathrooms. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And feel free to use any of these designs in your very own Lego airplanes. I actually really want to see what you guys can come up with. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I do want to take this moment to say... Thank you so much for 500 subscribers. I am very thankful to every single one of my subscribers. You guys mean the world to me. And honestly, it's just amazing to think every time I log onto YouTube Studio and I see that I gained one more subscriber, that really does make me feel good. I can't thank you guys enough. This is just crazy. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to join the family. Next step is to 1,000. And I know when I look back at myself in three years' time, and see that I'm this hype for 500 subs when I have uh, X amount of subs. But yeah, this really is amazing. And I know how competitive YouTube can be. But my promise to you guys is every single video that I put out there is to a certain standard. I know that this can interfere with how often I upload. Currently trying to aim for twice a week, Sundays and Wednesdays. But my number one priority is always to make sure my content is entertaining and quality will follow. Anyways, I'm rambling, but again, thanks so much for 500 subscribers, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.